hi k tribe welcome back to my youtube channel uh, my name is kim tobea i'm on the rooftop i'm trying to have a moment with you guys and talk to you one on one so many of you are, know that i'm on a fitness and health the weight loss journey but many of you don't know why why i lost myself and i became overweight so i hope i'm gonna have a moment because people keep on coming and going it's annoying this is why i literally want to move yeah that's really nice so guys as you know like <coughs> when i was in high school okay okay ever since i was like my mother gave birth to me i've been this like chubby <laughs> chubby baby i've always been chubby all through my life basically so i've never been skinny in my life but i never had like a pot belly like i never had a big stomach and actually this is why i decided to focus on my fitness journey my healthy lifestyle and change my diet because i had really lost myself this is gonna be like uh i have no notes written down this is just going to be like my experience just rambling and like chatting like you guys are my friends because you know guys you guys are my friend you are my, like that's why i call you guys my community that's why i call my community of supporters k tribe because i don't like the word subscribers it's too technical it's not friendly enough for me and you guys are my friends so you, you are my k tribe especially first just pause if you want to be a k tribe it's simple it's easy you don't have to have like to go in any chama <laughs> or any support uh, all you just need to do is i think it's here just scroll down kidogo just little and subscribe on that subscribe button down below or just finish somewhere there so yeah so yeah and always give my videos a thumbs up that way i know that you enjoyed this video i'll be making more of these kind of videos so growing up i've always been but yes and uh, when i was in high school as a growing breast like in my family um i'm the fat one <laughs> guys don't worry i don't like I, I don't mind the fat name i've come to terms with it and i really don't mind uh being fat it is what it is right so i remember my mom was always like probably because all my other sisters it's, it's just right now that they, are, they have grown that they are more like they they are more caviar but they were skinny so it was the fat i was the fat in the family i was the fat girl in the family but my my mama mama never like my mama just told me I'm beautiful the way I am. Even my dad used to tell me like I'm beautiful the way I am. I am. Even some of my sisters they used to tell me I'm beautiful the way I am. Only one like one one sister that you don't see in my YouTube channel. She's she's always like telling my mom like, Mom, tell Kemuto she needs to do something about her weight. She's fat. She, she's just direct like that. It used to piss me off because I was like, why can't you tell me in my face? But, you know, at least like I have like many sisters and everyone has a different personality. So, Mambazawa Naken, Nisha Zoya, like they, they've taught me to be tough, you know. So I don't really mind what people say to me. That's why I'm really tough here on YouTube streets because I used to get a lot of hate comments calling me fat calling me this calling me that like but i never really mind i used to go back and back to them but guys never respond to trolls or haters because you look really mad you look mad like them so nowadays i just don't respond to them especially those this comment 
I keep on, ever since I started my fitness journey, I saw this comment yesterday. Someone was saying, I was at CJ's, we were having a time, we were having a cheat meal because we deserve it. We worked so hard for it. We ran, I uh, ate my, not run, I can't run, guys. I can't run because my foot is flat. I have flat feet. That's why I normally can't run. <laughs> so I can jog and okay i can run but i i'm not like i don't run like you know like keep choking who else yeah i can't run like nice yeah so i saw this comment like will you lose weight i'll, I'll put that comment here will you lose i wonder if you'll ever lose weight something like that and i was like you just sit there, sit, wait, and watch. Don't worry about me. Because, guys, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know, but I stop, like, commenting back to people who just like to hate or like to to just notice the negative. They never notice the positive. They just notice the negative. Because the same, same person, because I know everyone who comments on my videos, the same same person will ne never comment when I'm doing the fitness or I'm eating celery and carrot. They will never say, oh, kudos Kimoto, you're eating carrot and uh, celery. Oh, you're working out, good guy, good girl. No, they will never comment. But they will wait until the day when I'm, I'm doing something like not to part with their rules and then they'll comment something negative. Someone said, and then I hate it when they say backhanded comments, like they, they'll say something like that and then they'll gang up. It's like they're in our WhatsApp group or something and they just decide, okay, let's go and troll Kemoto. She's living her life. Let's just go and make her life miserable. Let's go and comment shit on her videos. So, and then they'll comment. I was about to say something then something distracted me so those comments they used to really like piss me off and then they'll just say like okay Muto and I reply back they'll say okay Muto I should take positive you should learn to take positive criticism you, you put your things on public so you make us uh, like you give permission to anyone to comment positive or negative girl first of all I know the difference between positive and negative criticism. That there is not positive criticism. That is pure fake criticism. Yeah, I know English came with the the ship. English is kujana mail. Mary Mary Mail is but that is fake criticism. Kwanza girls like those, they never want you to to grow. They'll never comment something to make you grow. They'll comment something to put you down and to stick down and never to post a video online because you have that confidence that they 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 lack. So guys, actually I hate it. I know, I know, I hate it when people always call like when a fat girl or a big girl post videos online i hate it when people say oh you got confidence you got confidence i just don't like it there's just a way that you use that confidence i feel like it's like sarcasm you use it in a sarcasm way yes i know i have confidence but there's something like when i post a video i'm dancing i'm dancing it's like can you just say like wow you're dancing really well like can you just comment about the dance don't comment about confidence. I feel like when you comment about confidence, it's like a stuck as same way. Like, I don't know, maybe I think a lot. Yeah, I, I used to love literature in high school. I still do up to now because I do literature and people always question, second guess. Like when you comment down there, I always like look deep. I analyze that sentence. Even if you say love, I analyze it. Why did this someone say love? Why did you put it like this? I know I'm rambling, but yeah, so this video is why I'm overweight. So, so in primary school, high school, 
my weight was really pretty chat even in college my weight was like chat i never used to how do you say i was fat but i didn't have like extra fat on my stomach on my legs i'm gonna put like pictures for you to see like if i find them i'm gonna put pictures of high school how i used to look and in high school i used to when i was in the fourth form from four yeah they call it from four from four when i was that was like when i was 18 years i think 18 17 yeah when i was 17 18 years 18 years uh, oh, sorry i used to weigh 62 kgs that's like how many pounds how many po pounds so 62 times 2.2 62 times 2.2 I used to weigh 136 pounds when I was 17, 18 years. So, like, you know, when I was in high school, I used to, like, board, I was in a boarding school. So the food was no, they used, they never used oil on our food. Little to no oil on our food. I think it was just boiled food, okay? So I never used to go, and there was no milk or sugar or things like that. So that really, made my weight to maintain so i was not like i didn't have like stomach fat so for me i feel like like my boobs i've always been really conscious about my boobs especially when i was a teenager i used to be like the girl with them i used to create a lot of attention guys and i really didn't like it that's why i usually like Yes, on the videos you see my boots, but when I'm walking out and about in the streets, they are all covered. <laughs> so yeah, so I think I started gaining weight after college. Then I lost it when I was going to work because my work as a casino girl used to like it was standing a lot, so it was it was a lot of movement. So, yeah, and I usually. I used to find myself only eating one to two meal because it, it was I was usually busy because after work I'll come and sleep. Yes, so yeah, so I think I gained like really extreme weight when I lost my my job. That's when I think for me I lost a lot of weight. When I started my YouTube channel, if you look my videos, like I have over like five hundred videos just go and look on my video on my home page you click on came to bear go to my home page and then go to videos alone then sort by the oldest choose the oldest option oldest video i think that was on 2017 2016 years i was my heaviest like i was really heavy so heavy especially on my like i'm really conscious about my stomach i hate big stomach i like the way my thighs are i like the way my arms are i like i hate my legs by the way that thing but i'm more insecure on my stomach my boobs also i used to be but now like i know how to wear my bra i know my bra size when you know your bra size guys i have a video of me like the correct way to measure your bra size you can click it here i have that so if you don't know how to measure your it's a game changer if you know your if you are the correct bra size it's gonna change everything that's why like now i'm more confident because like my bra is really supported so yeah guys but what did i want to say so i was really heavy i i let myself go i think i was also depressed because i didn't have any like income i was really stressed so i used to like drink milk my i've noticed with my body type milk sugar milk sugar cow milk yeah that's it milk sugar and wheat chapels they make me oh, some people here they make me grow fat in the capsa oh god this is why i'm moving guys this is one of the reasons why i'm moving to have a place where i can create 
mid years. So I noticed like I was like letting myself go. I never I was more sedentary because I didn't have any work. Like I wasn't moving up and down. I was like basically home most of the time. And through that I gained more and more and more weight. So the first time I tried like doing something about my weight, that's when I we started working with my neighbor at that time. We were still walking to the fields back and forth and then we met like coach edward coach edward and he gave like he tried he helped us a lot we ran we jogged and then i stopped because it's, i i ran like one month and I, lo I i used to focus so much on the weighing scale but now I'm, I'm more confident i'm gonna buy this scale i haven't bought the scale yet but i'm gonna buy the scale so that i can see and maintain my my weight because yeah 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 so i got like hip injuries like muscle injuries i was paining my groin area had like muscle strain pulling me that's like a few years ago so i stopped when i stopped that's when i lost myself completely because during college also i was really in a good weight because i used to eat one meal because you know college or say life you don't like you have to save and then you don't want to be cooking 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 anytime so yeah so college also my weight was okay to me my weight was okay ah uh, yeah i used to like look myself like this wait i used to hate when i was like i always look myself like this and i used to hate this part the way it's like it was so huge for me. I used to hate that. Yeah. But so yeah, so how I gained the weight again by I when I lost I think losing my job made me really depressed and food became a comfort to me. I never I, I and then I didn't know. Now it's when I know like milk, sugar and uh, weight things make me grow big but uh, back then I never used to know like healthy diet I just eat anything you know yeah so that's how I grew overweight and my stomach keep on being healed so like actually drink if you've been watching my videos or if this is your first time i've been like on a healthy diet and changing my lifestyle completely and i'm hoping to keep on sticking with this lifestyle ever since march late march i'm gonna say april ever since april i've changed i've been working out every single day every single day like when the first two months i was working out five times five times a week sometimes six times a week but now i've reduced to four times a week and also i cut out completely sugar milk and i've seen a really huge change i haven't cut out carbs uh, but i haven't cut out carbs i think the people i live with people you live with heavily influence your lifestyle so when i move out i'm gonna cut carbs but now at least i'm like eating small small portions yeah i'm happy like i'm happy now i mean like i think i'm i'm, I'm about to finish my 90 days of working Hello. out trust and believe this is gonna be a lifestyle like working out diet like I don't mean the yo-yo diet like I'm minding when you work out you mind the intake of of calories you put in your body but I want it to be a healthy healthy option not obsessed with the calorie counts the scale the the measurements I don't want to be to be focused on that I want to be focused on how I'm feeling if you haven't noticed this, I've talked 20 minutes and I haven't breathed. 
a lot i haven't lost my breath so that's a really good sign like my my organs are working really well my stomach is it's getting there my fupa is getting away you see my fupa is going away slowly by slowly i'm happy i'm so happy mm -hmm. i'm taking it a step by step and i'm so happy that you guys have joined on the journey also those who have joined i'm so happy like health is really wealth it's very true because now i'm so energetic you guys also have seen i've been posting a lot every single day and i'm so happy i can't wait for for more to come for what is to come i'm so happy i'm so healthy i'm so very happy yes so guys i went ahead and look at miniso for um a scale so that i can put it there my main aim for the scale is to be weighing myself after every two weeks because after this i think i just want to maintain maintain my weight i haven't set a specific goal but the, uh, I think the goal I have now is just to breathe, to be happy, to have a healthy relationship with food, and not to eat food because I'm depressed, not to just eat anything, and to eat more whole grain foods. That's the main aim. And what else? I want to lose my, my belly. That's my goal. I want my belly. If I can see abs or flat stomach, I'm gonna be so happy. I feel good when I wear like clothes, like this clothes, like this top. I was gifted by my friend Chi. She bought this dress, this top for me, and I loved it. But it was so, it was so tight. Yes, it fitted me, but it was so tight, so I couldn't be able to wear it. Now it's fitting me properly, and I'm so happy the way I look now. The way I feel, I'm more energized. Like I feel I can do anything in the world. And during this pandemic, like I chose the right time to focus on my fitness and health. Because I don't know if I, if I was not working out, I'll be so depressed right now. So guys, I hope I really did. I hope I didn't bore bore you to death, or I rambled a lot. But these are just my thoughts. It's like I'm talking to my friend. There's no like agenda. There's no like points, point down. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the support. I love you, like I love you so much, you are my family, you are more than my friends, you are my family. Day Tribe is my family. I love you so much, I love you so much. Tomorrow we are going live, we always go live on Friday with my trainer, my personal trainer and to talk about like weight loss and anything that we are happy or we are like trying to achieve on our workout fitness every friday at exactly 5 pm see you on friday live tomorrow and if this is your first time and you don't know what this girl is talking about please focus there's a playlist i created a playlist it was named uh, my workout playlist here please subscribe here and watch the best video that is recommended by youtube I'll see you soon. Bye.